Tougaloo College students face another hurdle when it comes to graduation. Miss Tougaloo and her royal court have put a spin on this year's celebration. Tougaloo College women are being celebrated. It's all being discussed here on Eagle Eye News, so stay tuned. From Tougaloo College, this is Channel 19, Eagle Eye News. Good morning, I am Tia Jackson. Faculty has voted to discontinue the compassionate walk. Academic coach Jamarcus Bounds says that this is a large step for Tougaloo College. I think um, discontinuing the compassionate walk, it's, it's, a, it's a big jump. Um, I, it, the first time I did agree with either revising the compassionate walk, but I think discontinuing it might be a good, uh, I think a good way of you know, trying to revise it and if they want to reinstate it in the future, they can. He believes that this will benefit students and motivate them to meet the necessary requirements before they get to senior year. I think it, it was, it will help the students and, and get them in mind to, to be able to go ahead and, you know, comp pass the courses that you need before graduation. Um, focus on, um, you know, uh, taking courses that you need and also making and establishing that relationship with your advisor every year to be able to meet the necessary uh, you know, credit hours or take the necessary courses that you need. Though there may be a shift in graduation rate, Bound says that this is the push that students need. In my opinion, it may decrease the graduation rate if, you know, if those students who are compassionately walking, if they're factored into the graduation rate, but it, in, in the long run, it should increase the graduation rate. Reporting from Eagle Eye News, this is Tia Jackson. This building on campus was temporarily closed due to flooding. Coleman Library has always had issues with rainwater, but never anything this disastrous. A bathroom pipe burst on the third floor of the library, causing major flooding. Books and other items were damaged, and the library was closed for a couple of days. We were closed for two days, and so classes could be held in here, and students come, couldn't come in and use computers or study, so I guess that affected them pretty bad. President of the Mississippi Youth and College Division of the NAACP, Marquise Hunt, tells us that it is important to go out and vote. He strongly believes that we as African Americans should participate in the voting process regardless of the obstacles that we face. He advises people to do their research on candidates in order to choose the best person that he or she believes will benefit the community and keep the people's interests in mind. Of course, we know that there are certain elections that are being held every single year, and so you need to know who the individuals are that you're placing in certain positions, what those positions are, and how they uh, directly affect your community. We briefly caught up with Ms. Tugaloo, Akira Black, to see how coordination went. With a reliable team behind her, Black says that coordination exceeded her expectations. She even gives advice to the next king and queen of Tougaloo College, stating, make sure you go after what you want. Be sure to make a difference and always remember to use the resources around you. Meaning of the Wakanda theme, I fell in love with the Black Panther movie, but I wanted to actually take us back to our roots. Um, you know, a lot of people really just um, talk about, you know, Africa and that's being the, the, you know, the motherland. But I actually want to have a chance to actually make us feel like we were there. The Harvest Festival took place on October 31st. To get in the Halloween spirit, Tougaloo College hosted its annual Harvest Fest to bring out students to have fun. A variety of booths were set up so that clubs and organizations could display what they have to offer. According to senior Demombre Stapleton, the festival was a success. I enjoyed the most was, of course, the hunting house, and I also enjoyed the smiles and joy it brought upon people's faces that was, they did come out to the hunting house. The Mass Com Society hosted a haunted house on Halloween night to raise money for equipment. President Tia Patrick says that it was a great event. She says that next year's event will be bigger and better. The hope, the hope is to partner with other organizations so that, you know, we can just have more participation and more people can be aware of the event before it takes place. Uh, and also during, so that people will come and there will be a constant event. So just, we just really want to grow each year. All queens came together as new women started off November with the bang. Queendom Week was all that and more. It brought women together from all walks of life to celebrate their strengths and to empower one another. 
Queen of Week is um, a week that the housing staff here at New Women's came up with to celebrate the legacy, the intelligence, and just the overall beauty of the African American woman. Student Shabria Green says that we can expect to see recycling initiatives, yoga classes, and more. When asked what does she want students to take away from these events, this was her response. How to take the time and appreciate who you are. Yoga, you know, you get so caught up in schoolwork. I have to go to school, I have to go to work, I have to do this and that. It's really just to sit down and relax, or sit down and to better yourself. Though this is their first ever Queendom Week, Tracy Paul says that we can expect to see this annually. We've been getting great reviews about our event last night and even today, so I think it'll be something that we can definitely do here at Tougaloo College. Reporting from Eagle Eye News, this is Tia Jackson. Thanks for watching. Tia Jackson, reporting Eagle Eye News.